like nothing's been achieved Just to walk a day, go all the way The throngs are closing in Hey Tankers, what is up? This is Alex Bildit. Today we're taking a look at my first episode of Historical Battles. What are Historical Battles? Well, at the event of training rooms, we can set up our own combat with tanks that would have seen each other in a map that would probably be about as close as you can to the visual thing. We'll be taking a look at how these tanks would have stacked up to each other and several armies and lists you can make to fight each other. And let's get right down into it for the Battle of Berlin. It is May 1945, and the Eastern Front has all but collapsed. They have encircled the 9th Army and Berlin. Now, the 9th Army was sent to relieve Berlin and had over 400,000 infantry plus many, many tanks. And if they had managed to get there, the outcome may have been prolonged or could have been entirely different. Um, the Soviets had over 6,250 tanks assaulting Berlin and 2,500,000 infantry, whereas the Germans scraped together everything they had, a complete ramshackle of tanks, all sorts of stuff, including some Ferdinands. And basically whatever they could put together, King Tigers, Tigers, Martyr 3s, Martyr 2s, they had a whole bunch of random things they put together to defense. They dug in hard and prepared for the fight of their lives. As we really don't have a Berlin map in World of Tank Splits, I decided to use Himmelsdorf as it's a huge, destroyed, just city map, and it was probably best recreation of the circumstances they would be facing. Winter Molinovka might have worked, but just not enough city. Go ahead and title the training room Battle for Berlin 1945, or however you want to call it. Now let's talk about the forces that you should be able to field through these training rooms. One special rule first though, the Germans are not allowed to capture the base, and if they completely capture it, they forfeit the round. They also lose if the Soviets capture it. This is just because we are trying to recreate the situation and trying to defend the city against all assault. I created four armies for the Germans based on a tier point system of 50 tier points, so tier 8 being worth 8 points, etc, etc. Now we're going to talk about the first division I created, the Konings Tiger Panzer Division, a 50 tier point army. Now there were lots of Tiger 2s and Tiger 1s in Berlin, and we're going to go ahead and let you field three Tiger 2s with the top turret they must have this. You're going to go ahead and field two times Tiger 1, there are no restrictions except for you're not allowed to field the Pack 4388L71. Also going to field one times Panther, Panther 1, you have to use the stock turret and the 7.5 cannon. Also one times Panzer 4, if we ever get the Panzer 4H you can include that, not the anime one, that just doesn't look historical at all. You can have any configuration on the Panzer 4 though, it is preferred to have the 7.5 cannon as the 105 was debatably historical as it was used on a prototype and nothing more. The second army I built was built around tank destroyers. Now, three Ferdinands were leaving the city for the Eastern Front, but were cut off and had to fight in the Battle of Berlin, so I made this army center around them. You are allowed to field three Ferdinands, but they have to use the historical 105 cannon and not the top gun. And we are going to go ahead and field two Jag Panthers, no restrictions except for they have to use the 88. And also, you're allowed to field two times Jag Panzer IV, no restrictions, any configuration allowed. The third army I built that's also 50 tier points is built around Panther Offs G. Now, it's going to go ahead and include a home with the Panther 1s, but they have to use the Panther Offs G turret and the historical 7.5 cannon. You're going to field five of those, and just to average it out, we're going to include one Tiger 2, has to use the tier 9 turret, and also one times Jag Panther, and it has to use the 88. And now we're going to talk about the fourth army I created, the poor man's army. Say you don't have enough players in your clan or whatever that have these tanks, at least they can get tier 5s. Go ahead and field four times Stug 3G, a lot of those were fielded in Berlin, and also the rest are going to use Panzer IV, again, preferred use of 7.5 cannon. This army can only fight the poor man's army from the Soviet's forces. For the Soviets, I have four armies for them, including the poor man's army. Now, the thing about this is that the tier 8s that these guys have to choose from, only one of them was historically used at the Battle of Berlin, and that's the ISU-152. The IS-3 was used after the Battle for Berlin. The T-44 did not see service in this area or time period as well. The first army I built around these are built around ISU-152's Tank Destroyer Brigade. You can go ahead and field four times ISU-152's, but to be historically accurate, I have to not let them use the BL-10. They have to either use the 152 or the Tier 7 120 to be historically accurate, but you can load as much Pramo as you like and make those 152's pretty darn deadly. This army also fields one time SU-152, preferably the use of the 152 cannon, the SU-100, and also you can whatever configuration you want, and also the SU-85, whatever configuration you want. 
Now we're going to talk about the second army I created. It's only 45 points, but since Soviet buy it, so it might be able to work out. The T-34-85 Brigade. It goes ahead and includes five T-34-85, as much primary as you want. Now, there were a lot of IS-2s in Berlin, but since we don't have that, we're going to go ahead and field IS's in place of. Once we get the IS-2 or the IS-2 Berlin, you're going to go ahead and field that instead of the IS, which is just basically a placeholder. Also, to just to even it all out, you get one times IS-152, again, with those guns I mentioned earlier. There were many IS-2 used in Berlin, usually as a breakthrough tank followed up by T-3045s or tanks with lower calibers. Now we're going to go ahead and field six times IS uh, tanks, which we're going to just in place of IS-2s till we get them. And also just to even it out and make it 50 points, we're going to go ahead and include one times ISU-152 again with those guns that I mentioned earlier. The poor man's army, which can only fight the German poor man's army, is pretty easy to build. It's just T-34s, really classic. There were a lot of them used in Berlin, as well as a couple tank destroyers, the SU-85. So we're going to go ahead and just field five T-34s, no configuration requirements. And you're going to field one, not one, two SU-85s, no configuration requirements for them either. Because the 9th Army was trapped outside Berlin, the end was imminent. The Germans managed to destroy over 2,300 vehicles, at least according to the Soviets' own counting. Some estimates say that might have been as high as half the tanks, 3,000. They ultimately lost the war. Now, what do you guys think about this idea of making historical battle series like this? Does this raise any interest to you? Let your clan members know and your clan leaders maybe try to organize a battle between different clans using these rules or an inter-clan competition using this. Let me know if you kind of like this idea or not. Alex build it out. Thanks for listening, and thanks for the first battle of Berlin. Alex build it out. Blitz on, tankers. See the city burn on the other side.